Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of OMSI 2. Today we're in Berlin where we're going to be taking a drive of the Solaris Urbino on the Route 300. Now if you remember rightly, we didn't have an awful lot of luck last time, probably because I didn't have the 4GB patch installed for some unbeknown reason. So we had a brilliant time, it was a little bit laggy and then for some reason all the textures disappeared on the buildings when we got nearer the end. I don't know why the inside of my bus is flashing. Maybe it's because they're flashing at it. Oh, it seems everything's flashing, right? Okay, tell you what, we'll uh, we'll just press E and sort of. There we go. Are we are we are we up and running now? I don't know why. Why is everything flashing? Why are all the doors flashing? I don't know. If I press that, do the doors open? No, they don't. Who knows? Right. Well, let's uh, let's get going. If I pop it in drive and and sort of take the handbrake off, are we are we? Are we, are we moving? Yes, we are. Right, okie dokie, that's good. So, we need to go to Philharmony Sudabfart, which is uh, is where we need to start the journey. So, uh, I've got ticket selling turned off today, because uh, you don't really see a lot, of, uh, a lot of Berlin bus drivers actually selling on board the bus. The majority of people have them on their phones, or, you know, they have the day tickets. Uh, so, we're not going to be with ticket selling on. Let me just pause it and double check that I've got that. Yes, I have. Excellent. Uh, what we are going to do is I'm going to bob 300 to, where's Warschauer Straße? It should be here somewhere. S and U Bahnhof, Zoologische Garten, Wittenau, Warschauer Straße. There we go. Oh wow, a 200 to Michelangelo Straße. Uh, these buses are seen across Berlin now. They uh, they are getting more and more popular. Uh, they seem to be... Citaros, not Citaros, uh, the uh, Urbinos, that's the one. Got there in the end. There's Urbinos absolutely everywhere. They, they just seem to be everywhere. And then sometimes you go to Berlin and, and they, they're not anywhere. It's really weird. In the winter they seem to play out less from what I've sort of gathered. Uh, oh, right, I tell you what, let's, uh, let's make a, let's go. Pop a bit of lighting on there. There we go, right. Let's, uh, let's go around. Oh, hang on. Whoa, good heavens above. <laughs> this is why it's important to use mirrors. Right, so, where's the uh, Philharmony Sud Abfart? Where, where is that? Is is this round here? Tell you what, we'll, we'll just pull in for the time being. Where is it? Are we, uh, should we have a look round the corner? Is it this one? No, that's Potsdamer Platz. Right, okay, well, I mean, what we'll do is we'll skip ahead three minutes. One, hang on, 12.01, there we go, so we're due at 12.02. Just skip that ahead. That's not lagging. That's just while it makes its decision. Excellent. So, since we last saw each other as well, there have been a couple of updates to this. Now, we've got a new metro style. I think, if you remember rightly, in the last video, I uh, I, I did have problems with running to time. Oh, hang on. We're going to have problems running to time again if I don't get a move on through these lights. Yeah, I did have problems running to time uh, because everyone was wanting to board through the very front door, which is... Absolutely fine, but since COVID-19, they don't seem to do that in Berlin anymore. Uh, everyone's sort of trusted to have a ticket. Uh, so now they've updated this with what's called the Metro style, where when you get to a bus stop, you just open the doors, and even though they've got the little negative uh, no entry signs on here, people just get in through every door. You know, it just seems to be how it works now. It operates more like a tram than, uh, than anything else, than a bus. Uh, and I guess that people are just trusted. They'll have revenue officers that are sort of roaming the network. And uh, and if you get caught without a ticket, I guess you're in big trouble. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it does mean that loading times at bus stops are a lot less. And the bus can get a move on. Uh, now, yeah, why Berlin, Joe? I mean, you've, you've been sort of doing Bodenham recently, haven't you? Why, why back to Berlin all of a sudden? Well, I am actually... Uh, well, no. The, this has been recorded on Monday the 8th of April. And uh, on Tuesday, the 9th of April, we're actually flying to Berlin. I'm so excited. For those of you that know me, will know that this is pretty much my favourite city on earth. I absolutely love Berlin. Uh, and uh, by the time this video goes out to you lot, I'll actually be back, which is a bit of a disappointment, isn't it? Oh, a bit of a bummer. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get ahead and record some content, because uh, I'm, I'm really excited for Berlin at the moment. But uh, yeah, by the time you actually view this, I'll be home. Mm. <laughs> no fun, no fun. 
But uh, all good things must come to an end. And I'm sure we've got another week of fantastic content coming up for you next week. So, uh, yeah, we've got that to look forward to as well. Uh, I've not recorded it yet, so I'm saying I'm sure we've got great content. It might be terrible, who knows? Nah, it's always brilliant, isn't it? Right, okie dokie. So let's see if the tram system works. If I just activate the doors... I, I don't know what's happening with the back door. But everyone seems to be... Can we Can we just press the button? Oh, the hazard lights are flashing. Oh no, it's because I'm indicating. Come on, Joe. I mean, how do you get on at the back? I'm assuming that's offloading only. Oh well, that's, that's absolutely fine. Right, off we pop. I seem to remember last time I struggled with the doors, just getting used to them. It's a very, very smooth drive, this thing. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll just nip in here behind this car, this Mazda. Because uh, there's nobody in our mirror. And we're not getting through those lights, are we? There we go. Is it a Mazda? Does it actually have... It does have the Mazda badge on it. Wow. Normally you don't get licensing with things like that. Maybe they don't have licensing. Maybe it's an accident. I don't know. So it pots down a plats now. Uh, oh, wow. Chick bus. <laughs> pots down a plats. You've got the uh, the BVG tower there. Uh, the BVG. The DB tower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to have a photograph of that. Look at that. All right. Let's, uh, let's have a... Uh, this is lovely. You're just making noises now, Joe. Come on, stop, stop. Engage brain. Make words. God, we are late. Berlin buses don't run late. They run to time all time. On time every time. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, off we go. Another one going the other way there. It has to be said, this is already performing with the 4 gigabyte patch so much better. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed pootling up and down on this to begin with, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's a really, really enjoyable little map. Berlin's created fantastic. Recreated fantastically. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right, so we'll press all four. There we go. Hello. 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 There we go. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Get this lot on behind. Lovely. And away we go. Look at that. So much more efficient. You can hear them uh, validating the tickets on the little cha-chunk. Cha-chunk. They are so satisfying to do. If you ever go to Berlin, make sure that you... Well, make sure you validate your ticket or you'll end up in loads of trouble. But, uh, yeah, make sure you do it on one of the clunky machines. It's so satisfying. You press it, it's just... Oh, it's just lovely. It has to be said, for, for an electric bus, I mean, it's no secret I am a bit of a petrol head. I love, uh, you know, diesel vehicles and electric, uh, diesel and petrol, sorry. I prefer it to electric vehicles. I'm yet to be sold on an electric car, to be honest with you. But for an electric bus, I really do like this Solaris. I think they're, they're good looking buses. They seem to do the job. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of wishing that they'd branch out into Hello. the UK market. I have wished this with Solaris for quite a long time, actually. I think they'd look so good in the UK. In, uh, you know, like in a Reva liveries stagecoach. Couldn't see first having them, to be honest with you, in the, in the first... Uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I mean, look at the performance. It's so much better. Oh. I also turned anti-aliasing on since we last saw each other. For some reason, whenever you update your drivers, uh, it turns anti-aliasing back off again on OMSI, so you end up with the jaggedy line. So I've just turned it back on, so obviously the corners just look so much better. It's so much smoother than uh, than before. Murenstrasse. So we're going to turn left now, and we're heading up towards the Brandenburg Gate, so that will be on our left once we've turned left. We're pretty much parallel to the main road that runs into Alexanderplatz. Oh. Yeah, slam on there. Why don't you? Come on. You could have got through there. Goodness me. Well, I mean, we've committed anyway, haven't we? I don't know what the lights are doing, but we've committed. Heck, I thought that were a one-way street for a second. The cars are far over, aren't they? Tight, really? Oh, another red light. Right, we'll nip over here. 
on the right hand side, partly because I'm not sure what this VW is going to do at the next set of lights, but also because, oh wow, a Lion City double decker on the M46. I mean, they've all gone now pretty much, you don't see many of them. I'm sure they'll have preserved one of them, but uh, yeah, you don't see a lot in the city centre. I like the little hissing of the self-leveling, that's really, really cool. It's just little details like that that just make this game for me. This is why when people say, Joe, why do you still recommend this steaming turd of a game? You know, it's it's not as pretty as... Because uh, there's always someone in the comments that says that OMSI's terrible. Uh, and that the bus, and even Bus Simulator 21 are better, which is a load of uh, is a load of rubbish. I'll, uh, I'll be dead and in a box before I accept Bus Simulator 21 is better than OMSI. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's... I mean, I have a bus license. You might have seen my preserved bus adventures where I, I take a bus that I own for a drive. Uh, you know, and we and we do things and record it, and it's brilliant. Uh, but, you know, I do have a bus driving license, and if you want to feel like you are driving a bus, if you want the physics to be correct, and, you know, and it, and it to just feel the most like driving a bus in terms of when you press the pedal, what actually happens, this is the game. This is the game. All right, it's not as pretty. It is showing its age now. It's, uh, I mean, OMSI came out in, what, 2008? OMSI 2 in 2012? Or 2013, I think it was. Yeah, because we did the 10 years of OMSI last year, didn't we? Um, you know, so it is an older game now. It is. Um, it wasn't developed by a huge developer. It was just two brothers, from what I understand. Um, so, you know, to say what they've achieved with this, this is why this is my favourite game for, you know, when it comes to simulating buses. If I want to drive a bus, this is what I come to every single time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've seen some pictures of Lotus Simulator. I mean, Lotus, I've never really got on with Lotus, to tell you the truth, just because it was sort of released in an unfinished state. I paid an extortionate amount of money for it and uh, and, and never really, like I say, never really got on with it. But, um, but yeah, I've seen some pictures where they're updating it to a new engine. Uh, which one was it? It wasn't Unreal, was it? It was the other one. Come on, you'll know the one. Shout it out. Shout it out. Yeah, it's 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 not uh, it's not coming to me. But it was uh, it was updated to the to a new engine, a new game engine, and it just looks so much better. And I was thinking, if they can do that and they can make it look better with the physics, that that's the perfect bus simulator. Particularly as well, I think this is 32 bit, isn't it? Which is why it does have performance issues. You know, there's there's no secret this has performance issues. But if they can get it to 64 bit, then it should run a hell of a lot smoother because obviously it can harness the power of your processor, your graphics card, a lot better than a 32-bit program. I said we're off up past the Brandenburg Gate. I, uh, I've lost my bearings there. That's not where we're going. We will get there eventually because obviously we have to run past Alexanderplatz. I think we're about to bump up the curb at the back there. Right, here we go. Hello, madam. Right, somebody somebody wants to get off, don't they? So we'll, uh, there we go. Right, door open. Hello. Hello. Right, away we go again. It's so smooth when you put your foot down. That's the only thing that I wonder whether uh, whether it's like this in real life. Obviously, I've never driven one of these things. I'd love to have a go. Uh, maybe, maybe one day when I'm like an international celebrity, I'll be able to just knock on the doors at BVG and say, Hello, I'd like to drive this bus. Come on, let's go for a spin. And, uh, and they will go, yes, of course, you must be Mr. Dobson, how famous you are. It's nice to dream, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day. I don't know if they're, like, as smooth, because, obviously, in, in my bus, if you put your foot down flat to the floor, it lurches forward, because, you know, obviously, it, it can't wait to go. Whereas this seems quite smooth, maybe because it's an electric bus and uh, electric vehicles are very fast. Maybe they put a uh, like a, a limiter on it so you can't just floor it. If so, that's replicated very very well by the uh, by the creator. There we go. We're turning onto Brandenburg Gate Avenue now. That's not the name of it, but it's just down there, and uh, we're off round to the right. We're heading down to Alexanderplatz. The U5 U-Bahn line runs down the middle here. Actually, it's underground. You see the uh, the entrance to the U-Bahn station just here on the left. So it used to be the U55, and the U5 actually started at Alexanderplatz and ran up to uh, to an area of Berlin called Hono, or Hono, Hono. Um, whereas now it's extended all the way through to Hauptbahnhof, which is the absolutely enormous station in that direction. 
Compass Rising. So yes, Unterdain Linden, uh, just on the left here for the station. So we'll follow that up towards the uh, the Rotas Rat House. Is uh, Museum Insel, I think, is also a stop on here uh, on the U5. I forget, to be honest with you. Oh, I can't wait to go back to Berlin. So excited. Right, are we, uh, are we all good? Everybody on, everybody off. Lovely. Come on, dear, you're getting on. Are we full? Surely we're not full. Oh, wow, we are very busy. Look at that. Oh, she might be waiting for the 100. Right, we'll, uh, we'll let her off. Right, off we pop. What we are going to do is we're just going to skip ahead by two minutes. Because we're a little bit early. I always think if I uh, if I ever emigrated, if I left the UK and uh, went to live abroad, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to move to Berlin and I'd like to drive buses. You know, I mean, I currently work on the trains. I don't think I want to work on the German trains. I don't know. I do like them. I really do like them. But there's just something about BVG that I love. Maybe like BVG as a U-Bahn driver. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Under the streets of Berlin. Living in darkness all the time. Something about that weirdly appeals. But then again, I wouldn't want to be a London Underground driver. It's it's crazy, isn't it, really? How, uh, how different countries, things are just different. Right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's stop at Stadt Supper. Righty-o. Everybody on. Hello. Right, get that front door shut. And uh, shut the rear doors when we're ready. Off we pop again. You see, you can already tell it's so much faster and more efficient in the metro spec. Coming down to uh, various museums and libraries on the right-hand side. There's this Museum Insel. Let's say on the side there. Yes, Museum Insel. Museum Island, which uh, you can actually see from the river. If you look at a top-down view, there's like just a little island. We're going over the bridge now. Uh, and there's all uh, the old museum and the new museum. Oh, come on. It's, uh, yeah, it's having a minute. There is a lot to load in Alexander Platz, so you do have to sort of uh, forgive it a little bit for that. You do have to make certain exceptions with OMSI. You know, it's never going to be perfect, is it? Down here on the left-hand side, if you remember on the news, uh, there was the aquarium that exploded and uh, tropical fish went everywhere. Uh, it was a little bit more in-depth than that, of course, but that was just down here on the left-hand side, the uh, Alexander Platz. Hello, guten tag. And then obviously we wait for those doors to automatically shut at the back. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, tell you what we're going to do. I want a nice little shot. Like that. I don't know if that will be any good, but we can hope. Right, hang on, hang on. Ow, ow. Oh no, we've fallen in the river. Oh, that's it, game over. I'm not, not doing very well at this, am I? I think what might be... Hang on, we need to go right here, don't we? If memory serves me right, yeah. Right, tell you what we'll do. We will pause it. Because obviously pausing is a feature on this game. Look at that. Warschauer Straße. That's stunningly beautiful bus, isn't it? I do like it. A lot of modern buses I'm not a fan of. But this, wow, good looking bus. Look at the self-leveling, it's, uh, it's doing it again, that's brilliant. Oh, it's the Lufthansa cabin crew lady. Hello. She uh, she features on a lot of OMSI videos, doesn't she? As well as uh, Flight Simulator, GSX, uh, the ground handling tool, actually features that exact woman as well. And the little old lady, she goes on her holiday quite a bit. She does love an holiday, that lass, spending a pension down. Here we go. So, Rotasarat House. Also a stop on the U5. You might be able to see the uh, the U-Bahn. I think it's on the left, actually. You might not see it. Here we go. Right there. Uh, it's lovely. Nobody getting off at the back. Hello. Everybody on. Hello. 
Right, off we pop. Let's uh, coach in the way. Let's get out in front of this car. They'll be seething. So at uh, the Rotas Rat House, the Red Town Hall, that's what Rat House is. You can just see the U-Bahn station over there. Alexander Platz, massive Christmas market over here. It's beautiful uh, at Christmas. Obviously, there's not now because it's April, but uh, but but usually there is at Christmas time. I do like these double-decker coaches. You uh, to say that Berlin has such good rail links. You do. There are an awful lot of coaches about. You know, obviously tour groups and things. You'd, uh, it's one of them. I'd, I'd probably just go by train. I guess it's not always possible, is it? But uh, yeah, a lot of tourism. Certainly more coaches than I seem to recall seeing in London. But that might be something to do with the congestion zone. Right. So he's going right. So we'll just nip into this bus lane here. I don't think coaches are allowed to use the bus lanes, I could be mistaken. Although, is this all this yellow suggesting that it's not in use? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Goodness me. Nearly running a red light there. Oh, yeah, it's saying it's not in use and we should be in the uh, in the left-hand lane. Yeah, right. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll wait for that to happen and we should be next. I like the ambient sounds of the digging up the road. Certainly better than that horrendous forklift truck on uh, on Train Sim Classic. Right, if we just... We're going to indicate and just go. Come on. Break, break, break. Or we're going to crash into you. I like the roadworks. And I do like in Berlin how um, when there are roadworks, they, they paint the road markings in yellow. So you can see that... Uh, hang on. Oh, we're not stopping at Jewish Street. Judenstrasse. I don't know if that's Jewish Street or Jew Street. It's Juden is is either Jews or Ju the Jewish people. It's my uh, my pigeon German coming in use in uh, in use there for anybody that's not entirely sure on uh, on what the street names mean. I try my best. Try my best. Where are we now? Littenstrasse. I'm assuming it doesn't mean the street of litter, though. You could have fooled me with uh, with all that there. Litter Street. I don't think litten means... Uh, I think it's to do with light, isn't it? I could be hello, wrong. Hello. could be wrong. I like that. Danke TXL. It's like a uh, paying homage to the TXL route. I like that. Obviously, the TXL with uh, Teagle Airport closed now and everything going through Berlin-Brandenburg. The, uh, the TXL bus is no longer necessary. It's a bit of a shame, really. I, uh, I enjoyed getting the TXL in. I flew to Teagle once. I didn't like it. <laughs> we used to go to Schoenefeld. That was our, uh, our Berlin airport of choice, which is now Brandenburg Terminal 5. I think Ryanair fly over there still. I could be mistaken. I don't know where everyone goes since COVID. I think they mixed it up a little bit, but... Uh, So now we're turning, uh, we'll be heading, once we've turned right here, we'll be heading towards, uh, down towards Ostbahnhof. Oh, those buildings are better load, the textures, the parking by Radisson. I'd like to stay in that parking, but I'd like to ask for a low room. I don't like tall buildings. I just, just you know, there's just no need. Why has that Mercedes-Benz S-Class got a load of graffiti on the side? Why would you do that to an S-Class? That is like the creme, the creme de la creme of Mercedes-Benz cars. You, why would you put a dragon on the side of it? That's horrendous. Right, looking in my mirror there, we did good on that corner. Flipping it. I mean, I've got collisions turned off, so, you know, we could just drive through the bollards. Right, here we go. And this is... Oh, yeah, you can't turn right. righty oh, that's fine. Oh, nobody to get off. Hello. Hello. Come on, move down the bus, please, everybody. Right, we're going to just nip out here so that nobody tries any sort of silly overtaking manoeuvres. There we go. Right, full steam ahead. Oh, no, we didn't quite make it. 
You can tell we're in the east because uh, the buildings have a lot more of a communist feel about them. There's a lot more tower blocks that are all sort of beige. And I like how they've tried to add a little splash of colour by having like the lift shaft down the middle a different colour. But everything's just beige. And, you know, there's, even if you go now, I mean, it's been east and, uh, east and west Berlin haven't existed for a good many years now. I think it was the mid-90s, wasn't it, where, uh, where, where it all, the reunification, or was it late 80s? Oh, I forget, you know. I'm not the historian here. My, uh, my other half finds the history uh, of Berlin absolutely fascinating, as do I. But uh, I find the transport side of it, that's, that's my sort of bit, rather than the, the politics and the, the, that side of it. But um, obviously Germany has been reunified. Uh, Berlin has been reunified for over 20 years now, uh, probably close to 30 years. If not already 30 years, I don't know. Oh, he's going to be so cross with me for uh, getting all these details wrong. <laughs> but, yeah, there's, there's still so many telltale signs that it was a divided city. You know, if you get off a, a S-Bahn train, for example, at a random station in the west, the, um, the architecture is a hell of a lot more like London, for example. I'm not saying it's exactly like London. You wouldn't step off train and think, Oh my God, I'm in London. How did that happen? That, that's... no. But... Um, but, uh, oh, Janowitzbrucke, that's, uh, that's a station on the right just there. Or maybe it's in front, it's in front, isn't it? Come on, Joe, pay attention. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's a lot more western, whereas in the east, a lot more sort of just square buildings. That sort of, if you were a child and you were asked to draw a building, you'd just draw, I mean, you'd draw that in front, wouldn't you? A square with square windows, you know, just, just square. Everything square, functional rather than, uh, rather than pretty. But yeah, even though there's been a lot of modernisation in Berlin, still, uh, still a lot of telltale signs. And I think that's what, again, that's another reason why I love it so much. There's so much history. And it's so unique as a city. I'd like to do more buses in Hamburg. We went to Hamburg for, uh, for Miniature Wonderland, which was brilliant. If you love model railways and things, you've got to go. It's, you, you have to do that. There's no, there's no debate for that. You, you must do that. I'll be extremely disappointed in you if you don't. But uh, yeah, if you love your model railways, miniature Wonderland, uh, Hamburg, very, very westernised city. It's, uh, it's a big powerhouse. One of Berlin's powerhouse. Uh, Berlin, Germany, one of Germany's powerhouse cities. Uh, but yeah, the buses. It was so difficult to take photos because everywhere was so busy. Berlin's a lot quieter. It's a lot better for uh, for photos. Feels a lot more spread out than Hamburg. But uh, yeah, I struggle getting photos, or good photos of buses. You take all photos till the cows come home, can't you? That's another reason, if we just zoom out. That's a BVG advert there. The best in jobs Gelbweit. The best jobs. Gelb is yellow. And Veit is like, I think it's meant to be like the best best jobs worldwide, but yellow for a play on the fact that obviously BVG is yellow. I don't, I don't know. Anyone speak German want to help me out? I, I sort of can muddle through. I know to ask for a large glass of wine, so you know, I've got all the basics covered. Now if this sort of Tiguan contraption moves out of the way, we'll be, uh, we'll be back on it. We appear to be stuck. <laughs> nope, this isn't the queue to turn right. I don't want to be in the uh, in the queue to turn right. Tell you what, should we should we be yobbish? Right, around we go. They just sound like trams, don't they? It's very odd. Right, we'll we'll sort of carry on there, and then as soon as the lights change, we'll floor it. I can't see if if this. Oh no, that's the queue to go straight on. Oh dear. Right, we're in the wrong lane. These traffic lights have been red for ages. I, I love the... Uh, I mean, I can't possibly comment, because, you know, YouTube will tell me off, but I, I agree with that statement. But why have they put that in Berlin? <laughs> That's... I mean, you can't argue with logic and reasoning, can you? <laughs> oh dear. Another reason I love Berlin so much. They just, yeah, they just, they agree with me. Right, so we're flying down towards uh, Ostbahnhof now. Now this is suggesting I should be in the left-hand lane. 
Oh, we've got the Ibis on the right here. I love this Ibis. It seems to have closed down, or it's it's temporarily closed, permanently closed, I don't know. But I, this is the first hotel I ever stayed in when we came to Berlin uh, with one of my friends who sadly passed away. Uh, I, he comes up a lot in conversation on, uh, on this channel, but uh, he really was a good friend of mine. Cancer is sadly not a nice thing, is it? Nobody wants it, but uh, but there we go. Um, but yeah, we, we stayed there, and it was absolutely brilliant. It was just an Ibis, you know, it was, it was a terrible Ibis really, isn't it? You know, compared to, it's hardly a Marriott at the end of the day, but, you know, a, a nice hotel, nice hotel. And it was, of course, the one where my other half proposed, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Holds a lot of special memories, and now the flipping thing says it's shut. Like, for crying out loud, that was like a hotel where we were going to keep coming. You know, we were going to keep going there. You know, for special memories and all that jazz. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bit of an annoyance, but never mind. It's always the way. Oh, hang on. Oh, right. Sorry. There's a bus stop there. That's just... Uh, I mean, that is really bad parking, isn't it? I reckon if that was Bus Simulator 21, we'd be told off. <laughs> For that. It's not exactly what you'd call a professional parking, is it? But uh, well, there we go. Ostbahnhof, the, uh, the next stop down here. Flux bus. <laughs> And so we've got Chick Bus and Flux Bus. I love it. <laughs> Ace. Sitaro there. Give him a wave. This is going to... Hold on, everybody. Boom. <laughs> do you know what? In real life, they do go really fast up that hill. I'm sure it doesn't sort of... That doesn't happen. Maybe it does. I don't know. But uh, yeah, they seem to floor it up that hill. There we go, Osbahnhof Station, East Station, Osbahnhof. I think Osbahnhof Station was like, I think this was the central station when it was East and West. It certainly gives that vibe, it's a huge, huge station. But now, because obviously there's Hauptbahnhof, not an awful lot seems to sort of, you know, you stand in Osbahnhof and it's quite quiet. It's, uh, it really is a quiet station, for the size of it. You think in the UK... It's probably, like, a little bit smaller than Leeds. Oh. Time to give me some space, Mr. Sitaro. At least I can, uh, can pull out. I don't think that's quite as steep as, as what the game would have you believe there. So, uh, now we're going on the East Side Gallery. So, the East Side Gallery is this preserved section of Berlin Wall here, which has got a lot of artwork on it. It's very nice. I apologise, I've probably told you all this, haven't I? Every time we do any Berlin-related game, because obviously we've driven down... We've driven the 300 on the bus, we've driven it on Omzi. Uh, both brilliant, brilliant games. Omzi still, for me, just just takes it, you know, because obviously there's the modability factor. And there's just so much more to offer on Omzi than the bus currently has. But, uh, oh, wow, look at this. I, I have to say I'm a bit of a Mercedes enthusiast. I, I really am. Guilty. Guilty. I don't think they'd have an S-Class as a taxi, though. Well, maybe they would. I don't know. I thought one day I'll buy an S-Class like that. And, uh, you know, like a really, really fierce-looking one. And I'll have it just plain black. With blacked-out windows. And everyone will think I'm some sort of mafia boss. When, in fact, I'm not. I'm just a little YouTuber from the north of England. The problem is, is they cost hundreds of thousands of pounds, and I currently have about £8.33 in my NatWest, so, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're not quite there yet. But, as I said earlier, it's nice to be able to dream, isn't it? <laughs> right, some of these road markings with, obviously, the bike lanes, I really don't understand, but I think we, I think we did well there. To just, you know, if in doubt, just drive through the middle of them and hope for the best. Oh, I like the little birds. Nice. Yeah, I do like birds, and I'm sure some of you will probably see the irony in that. But, uh, yeah, we have three parrots at home. It's uh, just birds in general. Love birds. Again, some of you are smirking there, and that's totally justified. East Side Gallery, the next stop. You see, there's there's lots of nice little. Uh, my favourite one's the one of the two men whose names always escape me. Uh, the the two politicians that are kissing, and obviously I don't think they ever did, but uh, it was a bit of a. Uh, oh no, hang on, there's repeated repeated textures going on here. We've seen that, those sad eyes already. 
Oh, more birds. Oh, there it is. There's the one. There it is. It's some sort of political satire. Oh, look, the sad eyes again. Yeah, they're, they're not repeated, but obviously the, uh, to save on texture space, I imagine the, uh, the creator has... Oh, look, the birds again. And the, the two kissing politicians. There we go. I don't think that's quite... Maybe it is. I think it was like a Western politician and an Eastern politician. Again, the, the history side of things for me is a grey area. I sort of get it. But at the same time, I'm remembering all the details. But yeah, I could tell you all about the U-Bahn and the different stocks. So, you know, everyone has their own specialty, don't they? Tamara Danzstrasse. Lovely. I'm just going to glide through the lights there. Look at that. Sitaro coming the other way. What do you want? You're on a 300. Why are you getting on here? We finished the, the route round the corner. In fact, I think that this is the last stop. I think this is the last stop before we finish. I don't know. Is, is the next one or do we have one before that? I can never remember. Bin lorries. Ooh. I'm surprised that's not a thing. Bin lorry simulator. They seem to be a simulator for just about everything else, don't they? Oh yes, S and U Bahnhof Warschauer Strasse. Which is where this bus terminates. So obviously it connects with the S Bahn and the U Bahn. And of course the trams. The uh, I think does the M10 go around here? I think it does. But uh, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today. We've had a much more successful run, which just goes to show that this is a much better game when you've actually got the 4 gigabyte patch installed, which I said I did and in fact didn't. So uh, yeah, there's a link in the description to it if you want to go check that out. I definitely would give it a uh, give it a second chance, people, you know. I mean, just look, the attention to detail, the litter, everything like that. I mean, nobody likes litter, but it's good that they've, uh, they've put the detail in. But uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, and you've watched this far, congratulations to you. Uh, yes, if you've enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button. It's, uh, it's always appreciated. Make sure you get Berlin on your list of places to visit. Not everybody wears the same clothes and looks identical. I promise you, there are more than six people on repeat in Berlin. But uh, yeah, if you'd be so kind as to subscribe if you haven't already, uh, so that you never miss out on any bus simulation uh, fantastic content. That didn't make grammatical sense. But, oh, dear me. Go on, Joe. Go on. You've earned a cup of tea. Off you go. Yeah, cheers so much for watching, everybody, and, uh, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.